I love it. What about you, man? Yeah, this has been a very, very tough week. Yeah. Um, One of my mentees, uh, his name was Duke. I talked about him a few times on the podcast. Yeah. Um, Was, uh, yeah, yeah, shot and killed earlier, um, and it has wrecked me. So it was one of those things where um, knowing how talented he, he, he was and knowing how invested he was in his craft it just it's one of those things where i'm like man fam like yeah i i so wanted him to blow up i so wanted him to succeed and man the, the streets are unforgiving you know and i'm just having a hard time wrestling with the fact that you know there's a lot of kids in the in the hood and in urban environments that are literally swimming upstream their entire life yeah you know fighting against the current yeah and a lot of times some don't make it up right for sure so, so it's it's been tough, you know. Um, my week was also productive along with that. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah. I was about to say one one thing I can't appreciate about you, especially in this season, is like you're learning how to grieve yeah. in your way. Yeah. So like being able to sit back and just watch that has been like, and and I know it's weird to say, but I think it's good to be able to learn how you grieve and just like how to go about it in a healthy way. You know what I'm saying? Because I even asked you how you were feeling, which I actually hated the fact that I asked that question after it came out of my mouth. Because I was just like, Caleb, you know exactly how you're feeling, but I didn't know the details. Well, and then you sent me something that I thought was dope. The emotional wheel. The emotional wheel. Yeah. Like he's like he circled his emotions, you know what I'm saying? Like sitting that mug to me, which was like helpful for me, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yo, that was that was so dope, you know? Because because what was happening was it was a lot of people hitting me with the same question for I sure, and that's like, and that's why I, I hated that I asked it. <laughs> go, no, 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 no. It's good that you asked it. It's just I didn't feel like <clears throat> verbally having the conversation yeah. with everybody. Yeah, and so I just circled on there, frustrated, angry, crucial, yeah. mad, sad, and trusting. Yeah. You know, that's a solid little tool right there too, bro. Oh yeah, bro. Like, you know what's crazy, fam? Edit that in the podcast. And here's and, and here's why it's solid. What's up? Talk here's to why us. it's solid. Talk I was in a us. conversation with someone, and the conversation got really intense to the point where, you know, I, I thought it was a, it was definitely a back and forth. We de- we definitely both disagreed on something, and it got a little intense to the point where, because of what I was doing, this person was like disappointed in me mm-hmm. and I'm like I, I'm, I'm really trying to come to grounds with not so much why this is wrong but like in the midst of me doing this yeah are you also connecting the action with my heart and character right and so as the person's crying what, 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 what got me was they they literally said like yo you see I'm emotional how's that making you feel I don't feel like you're emotional right now and I was like I think I'm very emotional mm-hmm Pulled out that wheel. <laughs> According to the wheel, I am peaceful, mm-hmm. thoughtful, relaxed, and responsive. <laughs> I think at did that they moment, like that response? How did they feel about that response? Now here's the, like honest, and this and this is where it actually was cool. <clears throat> she actually responded with, "I can respect that. I understand All because right. as we." are still in the especially in the black community trying to figure out what emotion is and mental health is to say to people you're being emotional i think that's that's that has that is we critically have done our community a disservice by continuing that type of lingo yeah yeah yeah. especially when it comes to men it's like yeah. why are you being so emotional and now we only, it's a bad thing it's negative when you bro, say bro, why are you being emotional before yeah, last yeah. year you asked me what emotions exist i could give you five yeah now i got like 30. <laughs> You feel me? I got more tools in my belt because that means I'm able to understand rather than sad, mad, hungry, angry. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, I'm able, yeah. To, I'm able to understand more things. And so if I'm Which in a lot of us is only mad and frustrated. That's and that's it. it. But so. That, but what's crazy, it, frustrated is actually in the little wheel of that joint, right? Yeah. And frustrated and, uh, what was it, stressed? Two different things. Yeah. Right? And, and so I'm, 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 as I'm learning myself, especially like you said, as I'm learning what it means to grieve, like, you know, first the flyer was sent out, like, hey, the podcast is canceled. Why? Because, yo, when um when you go through something like this, you're supposed to put everything aside and not do anything. And I'm like, okay, bet. So let's just cancel it, man, because everybody's telling me to do that. Yeah. But then I was like, I don't know if that's what I want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, why am I having to operate and grieve like everybody else is? Yeah. And like it was cool to be able to have that dialogue too, just like yeah. through the text. You know what I'm saying? And it was I think hard a lot to explain, of people, bro. It's, yeah. it's hard. It, it was hard for me to explain. Yeah. Like, like y'all are saying, like, yo, fam, like, don't overwork yourself. Don't, I'm like, yo, I'm getting rest. 
I'm getting sleep. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worked up, but I also, I enjoy this. I enjoy the discipline of this. I enjoy the consistency of this. And it's not cause I like, I just don't want to take a week off. I'm like, I still feel like I can give something in the midst of my grief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Right. And so, for sure. so cause everybody grieves differently. I slow down. Right. Yeah. You know, like, like first it was, you know, doing this before that it was, uh, hanging out. And then next thing you know, Tia, uh, T- Tiffany and Simeon pulled up on me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had one bottle of wine on me. You feel me? I said, look, either I'm going to finish this or we're going to finish this. Talk to me. Simeon got some, I got most, right? <laughs> and we stayed up till like 3 a.m. talking, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then honestly, that moment helped me prepare mentally. Yeah for the next day where we had the balloon lifted, right? For sure. So. No, I think that's good. And I was about to say, even like in, there's seasons of of uh, grieving where it's like you're going to do something differently every time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so the fact that we were just like, all right, let's see if this works for you this time. He's like, yeah, let's let's see what happens. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. like really just creating that space for that. Yeah, fam. Like, look, like I said, it was hard to explain because I'm like, I'm Especially not saying in the right moment. Because yeah. it was great. Well, literally, the night it would happen, my, one of my high school friends hit me up. He said, hey, bro, I know you don't talk like that. I just want to encourage you. He's like, grieve how you grieve. Yeah. Like, like yeah. make sure you focus on where you're at. You know, you know what's right and wrong. Yeah. But don't attach right and wrong to the grieving. Yes. And I was like, I appreciate that. Because I was, like, ready to do all the things that's on the list on, like, hey, what to do and you the cookie cutter passes away what, yeah, what to, like, you know what I'm saying things like that you know and I, and I realized even like why I didn't even post about them because I was like I was I was still in denial yeah the first four or five I'm like oh no nah, I, I want to show up to his house at the balloon lifting and he's there he's like I got y'all I just wanted attention yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see y'all again you know what I'm saying but it was it wasn't that yeah you know so it was tough bro but for sure man. yeah man um yeah that was my week man 